So good morning. This beautiful little Hyundai Accent gem here is here for an inspection. And one of the items I notice is the right front power window. Now if I try to roll it down from the driver's side, nothing happens. If I try to roll it up, you can see it will go up. But it did roll down at one point. It doesn't work from the passenger switch either, up or down. It goes up but not down. Let's go over to the passenger side here. There's up, no action at all, and down, no action at all. So I'm starting to wonder if there's a problem with the switch or the wiring. Although it did roll down partially and stop, kind of like a window motor problem. Even if I push down on the motor, on the window, and try and roll it down, nothing happens. So we're going to look at the schematic. So there are several versions of this electrical schematic. This appears to be the right one from what I can see. Uh, there is a walkout switch in the master switch, but I'm sure that's working because the window... Or I'm not sure. Oh, the other windows work fine, so I'm sure that's functional. I think the easiest thing to do is to go right to the right-hand power window switch. We can test all of the circuits in and out of that switch right here. All this motor does is reverse polarity to go the opposite direction, just like every other power window circuit out there, or almost every other power window. Now, it won't work up or down from that switch, so there could be a problem with a fuse, right-hand power window fuse funny they call this a right hand power window and over here they call it assist power window assist what driver assistant oh well so we're going to see what's involved in getting that escutcheon off to, to get at this switch so remove the little plastic cap that covers the screw holding it in the armrest remove the screw in the door handle and then the one behind it in here Remove this plastic triangular piece off the top. It's got three clips on it. Just pops straight off. There is a, put a pin here, a cap, and a screw here in the back corner, and one down underneath here, right there. All Phillips screws. And then the door panel just pulls straight off of retaining clips. There's all these little push pins, so some of them might get damaged. So we're going to disconnect this harness and see what it's involved in getting this switch out. So that switch is retained in there with two Phillips screws. So I'm going to try and just remove that switch so that I could back pin it easier. So here's the wires at the switch. And pin one and three, which is orange and pink, are outputs to the motor. So that's these two here, one and three. And four, five, six, pin six here is should be power coming in. I'm just going to go across the, the orange and pink, orange and pink, with a test light and see if it lights the test light in either direction. So I've got my test light connected across there and from the master switch, it lights the light going up, but does not light the light going down. And it doesn't work from either, it doesn't light the light going up or down from this switch as well. I just got two back pins across here. Now I didn't check to see if I have power coming in on that pink wire. It may have blown that fuse. Is that pink wire, number six, number six pink, as you can see, comes from a dedicated 25 amp power window fuse in the IP junction box, which is probably under the dash here. 
So I'm going to check to see if I have power on that pink. So if I back pin this pink wire, you can see I have power there. Yet that switch does not send power out. So let's see if we can make it work. I think the switch is defective. <clears throat> but then again, there could be a break in the wire between the switch and the door over on the other side. Let's see if we can make it work from this switch. So according to this schematic, the switch is normally closed between pin 4 and 3. And pin 8 and 1 which is the gray wire and the orange wire. So I've got the gray one jump to the orange one and I've got the pink one jump to the brown one pink to brown and the window rolls down from the master switch but not up. So we're going to qualify these wires that should be power down and that should be power up. If there's a break in this wire, we won't have a ground, so it might work partially. So I'm on the brown wire and according to the schematic, the brown wire, come on focus, will be power when we roll the window up. So I've got a good ground here. I'm going to go to the passenger driver's side. And his power will roll the window up. So we'll check the other wire for power when we roll it down. So I'm trying to roll the window down. And you'll notice it's very dim. Hmm. Back on the up wire significantly brighter so there's a problem either with the master switch or the wiring so using a 921 bulb rolling the window up pulling the switch up it lights that light nice and bright but rolling the window down on the other circuit I'm going to show you so now I'm rolling it down and it doesn't do anything it did light up initially, and when I manipulated this switch, I could make it go flicker and go bright and dim, but now it won't do anything. And now I notice that the passenger rear window rolls down from its switch, but not up. Yet it rolls up and down. from the driver switch. So I think all of this problem is in this driver switch. And it needs to go through this normally closed set of contacts in the driver switch to find ground. I see somebody had tape over top of the switch at one point. Try to discourage somebody from not using this. Hmm. Well, let's get it closed. All right, let's see if we can get that window closed from the other side. This thing's got more than one problem. I've got the test light on the main feed coming in, and it lights that light, and that switch sends power to the pink wire when we roll the window up, and it doesn't do that. So now i got it on the pink wire, and it doesn't light up. So this switch is defective as well and it should light up on the orange wire rolling the window down and it doesn't light up so we've got no continuity to ground through the gray wire through the master switch which I believe is a defective master switch I got it to work once or twice and we have no continuity through this switch in either position hmm strange so if I take direct power off of pin 6 which is the pink wire and supply it to the other pink wire which is 
this one here, that should power up the power window motor and it says up and this one goes to ground. So I'm trying that and as you could see, it's not working. It's the wrong polarity. So either this diagram is drawn wrong, this should be down and this should be up. Ay, 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 ay. So I reverse the polarity now. And the window rolls up. So this is not correct. Because I'm putting power to the pink wire. No, power to the orange wire. And that says down. Because this is my power wire coming in. And if I roll, this one's supposed to be plus to go down and negative to go down. And then reverse the polarity to go up. So we need a switch for this side. And we probably need a switch on the other side. Wow. So I got tired of listening to that chime. It was like Chinese water torture. So I've got the driver's door apart. And discrepancies on this side too. Here it says the gray wire is in location number one. And... No, that's not gray, that's brown. Oh. Okay, so the brown wire is in location number one. So we're going to check that power wire, that wire to see if we have power coming out. So there's a test light connected, back probing the brown wire coming out of location one on the switch. And when I roll the window up, it lights up. And you can hear the motor trying to work on the other side. So we've got to check the other wire now. So I'm on the gray wire now. And no, no power coming out of the switch. So if I put power out of the switch by jumping power to pin to this gray wire, that should make the window roll down from the other side. From this side, I mean. So if I supply power from the red wire here to the gray wire while I try to roll the window down, it rolls down as you can see. So we got a problem with this master switch, not supplying power nor ground properly on this gray circuit. And a problem with the right hand power window switch not working either. Now, there could be the same issue with this passenger rear on the left side here not uh, not working internally in the switch. But we're going to fix, we're going to see what we need to get here for this master switch. I can't imagine it's going to be too cheap. The right hand switch should be inexpensive. So it turns out there are a couple of versions of the schematic. This is the one I was looking at. And it says with front power windows four door but then there's with front and rear power windows four door and the difference is at this switch it's pin one and three and at the master switch it's pin one and five the gray wire was in the wrong location but it's still the same circuit now the switch is this switch here is pink is up or pink is power up and orange is power down. This is the same. So both of these are drawn incorrectly. They're actually opposite that. But regardless, we need a master switch and at least one right hand switch. This, this guy here, we need that. And nobody's got, and they're not cheap. It's like, the heck was it? almost 350 bucks for the master switch and 80 bucks for the driver switch and that's aftermarket but there's no stock anywhere in Canada. So we've got a previously enjoyed power window switch out of a 2010 and there is the switch that wasn't working. Rolls down, rolls back up and that's with a new switch on the passenger side as well. Because this one didn't work either. 
roll down, back up. Now let's see if we need another switch on the left rear, because this one would roll down, but not up from this switch. Rolls down, but it doesn't roll up. So it needs this switch as well, but it will roll up from Oh, wrong one. Well, I did pick up a third one because I was suspicious that this was going to be required. So we'll put this switch in this and we'll call this one fixed. Put the doors back together.